Welcome back to Goldrise and this is another Z490 board from Gigabyte, the Z490 Pro AX. It is three steps down from the Extreme. We have the X Extreme, the Master, the Ultra and that is where the Pro AX stands. Price wise, it's about 40% of the price of the Z490 Aorus Extreme. Very affordable. So this board is suited for people like me. I like to overclock, I like some form of controls, but I don't wish to spend the amount that you can get from the Z490 Aorus Extreme. I don't need that amount of controls and features. So yes, this one suits people like me. For those of you who are benchmark scores hunting, ever wanting to fine tune and get the highest scores you can, you should look at the Z490 Extreme. Of course, it comes at the price tag. So without further ado, let's see what the Z490 Pro AX has to offer. As always, let's start from the corner where the I.O. cover is. The I.O. cover of the Z490 Aorus Pro AX is plastic and comes with an RGB LED strip. Connectivity-wise, the Z490 Aorus Pro AX comes with a single USB Type-C port, a few USB Type-A Gen 3.2 ports, and Intel Wi-Fi with 802.11ax with 2T2R and BT5 support, and an Intel 2.5 Gigabit LAN. Around the socket area, you'll see that the Z490 Aorus Pro AX comes with 12-phase power stages at 55 amp each, totaling at 660 amps. The VRM is cooled by the Fins Array 2 heatsink with Direct Touch Heat Pipe 2. The Direct Touch Heat Pipe 2 connects both sides of the heatsink, but only one side is of the fin design, while the other side being just a heatsink block. Over to the other corner of the board, it is as simple as it can get with just dim slots and the usual connectors. The memory support of this board goes beyond 5000MHz, of which I am unable to verify due to my limited RAM kit. The two PCI Gen3 connectors come with thermal guards. There's another M.2 connector that's not highlighted on the product page because that's a reserved M.2 connection with PCIe Gen4 support. I wish that Aorus covered it with a heatsink, but I guess that's for you to use it with their Gen4 SSD. For the audio department, the Z490 Pro AX comes with what they call an amp up audio that is with ALC 1220VB codec. That's pretty much it for the board. Nothing stellar in appearance with no fancy covers or even buttons for the power and reset. It does have a single color boot up indicator on the lower front corner. I do appreciate that Aorus grouped the PWM fan connectors together and that the front panel pins are protected by a wall. Alright, so let's talk about the user experience. The Z490 Aorus Pro AX is a board of such caliber that it's not for you to just plug and play. Definitely overclocking has to be done and that's what I did. Switch the multiplier to 50, boot in at 5 GHz and completed the blender test as expected. The VRM heatsink handles a 5 GHz processor very well, keeping the temperatures under 50 degrees Celsius. Looks like I have a good i7 processor with me and looks like this is a good board for this purpose as well. My only limitation now is the Thermal of the i7, really hot. I'm running a 240mm radiator just for this test. But for the i7 review, yes, I will be using a better cooler. But as of now, being a review of the Z490 Pro AX, that's what it is. I am satisfied with what I get with my overclock and look forward for even greater overclocks in the days to come. The BIOS on the Z490 Pro AX is as what you can expect from an Aorus board. Plenty of options for you to tweak to your liking, and I'm glad that it's no longer sluggish like what Gigabyte boards used to be. Alright, so that's it for this video. Solid board, the Z490 Aorus Pro AX deserves a gold badge because it's able to deliver when it comes to overclocking and it is not all too pricey of a board and given the quality that you have with it. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching guys and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Do remember to subscribe to my channel as there are more Z490 and other Intel latest motherboard reviews coming. See you.